We have NCCU head softball coach Teresa Stevens in preparation for her game on Wednesday against Norfolk State University. Coach Stevens, tell me about last week's win over Maryland Eastern Shore. Um, last week's win, it was, it was, we made some great accomplishments. Uh, our young ladies came out, they were excited. Uh, I think last year they split with UMES. And uh, so it was big for them. They came out strong. Um, there's some areas where they kind of got laid back, but they realized that they have to, it, that's a habit they have to break. They have to go in there every time and, and play the best they can because they know they, they're a better team this year. So um, December came out, hit the ball hard. Uh, Shakimia Edwards came out, hit the ball hard. Uh, they're, they're excited. They, they played hard. They played uh, not too many errors. They had some here and there, but they went in there and uh, capitalized where, they, where they, they made some mistakes. They came back and they, uh, they knew how to fix them. So I'm proud of them. I'm really happy with the wins, and I'm looking forward to what's going to happen in the future in the MEAC. Now tell me, um, after, I think it was uh, – the, the top of the second, we were up 4-0, and Maryland Eastern Shore came back and tied 4-4. Four four. What did you tell them in the dugout that really pushed them past that, that big run by Maryland Eastern Shore? Um, that, that's the point where I felt like they were getting a little comfortable. They, 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 I think in their mind they knew that they had this. They knew their improvements over the season. So they, they, they just knew these were games that they knew they should – they knew they could have and they should have. And I just got on them and said, do you, the – the scrappiest teams can be the most dangerous teams. They can come and bite you in the rear end if you sleep on them. And that's what that's what um, Maryland Eastern Shore is. They are a scrappy team, and they they will keep going until you know they get what they want out of it. And we that that was more of a reality check to them that they weren't going to stop, and we couldn't. Now going into our second MEAC double header of the season, how does the uh, 2-0 record so far with the MEAC, how does that impact this, this season and this team so far? Um, it makes a big impact, you know, because we were, um, we definitely, it, you could tell the difference between us and UMES, and we were voted down there with UMES to to finish at the bottom of the conference, and uh, that's why it was so important that our young ladies went in there and they played hard against U UMES to let the coaches and the teams know that this is a different team and this team's coming in, out to win. So um, it definitely, I, I believe, made a little bit of noise to let people know, oh, this isn't the team that we voted to to finish dead last in conference. What differences will we see and will we play uh, Norfolk State on Wednesday? What were you really focusing on this last week in practice? Um, we're just, right now, these past few days, we were just trying to get all the stress off of them and let just do do some more exciting things at practice, keep their energy up. Um, and then when that Monday, when next Monday hits, when we're preparing for uh, to see Norfolk, we're just really going to focus on um, being aware that there's better pitching, there will be a, a lot better team, just hitting the ball, um, just keeping good solid swings on the um, ball and play as airless as possible. You know, we're starting to get away from um, the amount of having a lot of errors in a game and we're minim minimizing it now. So just really focus on clean play and straight softball and coming out strong from the beginning, not in spurts throughout the game. Okay. That's, that's us. <laughs> as we head out to Walnut Creek on Wednesday at, at, uh, at 2 p.m. and 4 p.m., tell us, give us, just give us a message to the Eagle fans and the Eagle family. Come out and see us. They're working so hard. They are a totally different team. They're still learning. They're still growing, and they're excited. They're passionate about what they're doing. Um, you will see uh, a lot of young ladies that have the potential to do great things this year in the MEAC. So come show your support and your eagle pride in and, and our journey to take the MEAC by storm. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.